In this example, I need to solve for m in the problem y equals mx plus b. This looks a little bit different than a lot of our other equations because I have one, two, three, four variables in this problem. These are often called literal equations or formulas. And how do I solve formulas or literal equations? Well, to solve a formula for a specified variable, we have to treat that variable as if it was the only variable in the equation. All the other variables you treat as if they're numbers. So in this problem, I'm having to solve for m. In the equation, y equals mx plus b. I need to solve it for m. If you get a bit overwhelmed by all these variables, pretend the y, the x, and the b are all numbers. So I'm just making up numbers. So 7 equals m times x. Let's pick x is 2. So that that would be 2x plus b. I'm going to pick 19. How would you solve this problem? Well, you'd subtract 19 from both sides. And you get 7 minus 19 is negative 12 equals 2x. So let's do exactly the same over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract b from both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, I'm going to get y minus b. I can't combine them. They're unlike terms, so I have less arithmetic to do. So y minus b equals m times x. And now, looking over here, what would I do? I just divide both sides by 2 to solve my equation and get x equals negative 6. So what am I going to do over here? Well, remember, I'm not solving for x. I'm solving for m. So I'm going to have to divide the right-hand side by x, and I'm going to have to divide the left-hand side by x. My x is reduced over here, and I just get left with m equals y minus b all divided by x. I can't simplify anything. That is my answer.